And out of the 32, man, there is a whole story about that too. I'll get more into it in the book. But out of the 32, 10 chose me. What the heck? 10, bro. 10 agencies chose to work with me. And now I was in the position to choose which one I wanted to work with and not just be like hoping that somebody would choose me. And it was beautiful. It was amazing. So I chose New York Model Management, who is still my agency until today. Yeah, so I signed a contract with them. And instead of going back to Brazil on Monday or Tuesday, whatever, like whenever I was supposed to go, I instead went to New York and with my uncle, my uncle came with me because I was not allowed to sign a contract. So he signed my first contract with my agency. As far as I remember, that was how I went. He signed a contract and left. I was like, <gasps> okay. So I was there in New York by myself in quotations, just with my agency. I stayed in a model's apartment and I stayed there for two weeks. And for the next two weeks, I was meeting clients, different clients and just getting to know the people. Like, I think yeah I, I took some pictures as well like i made a book and that's why i say you don't have to buy a book we did everything through the agency if my agency had to pay for something for like for the uh, book they paid it and i just went in minus i have an account with my agency and what they did is they said okay so now as for now you're zero everything we may need to pay for you you just go negative and once you work you go uh you pay the debt and then you go positive so that's how it worked. I didn't have to spend a dollar to spend it, to stay at the, the model's apartment. I didn't have to spend a dollar to, to do the, the test shoots that I did to build my book. And I never paid anything out of my pocket, you know? So that's why I say, if you guys want to try to become a model, don't go spend a hundred bucks or a thousand bucks or whatever amount of money like with a photographer to build a portfolio to go to an agency. Go to the agency first and say, hey, uh, do you think you can work with me? Like, I think I like I would like to be a model. This is my dream or not. But I think people say that I could be a model. Do you guys think I could be a model? Would you like to work with me? They will say sure uh, or no. It's sad, but it's it's a possibility. They will either say yes or no. Uh, if I were you and you think you could be a model. Some people told you that you're beautiful enough they or handsome enough that you could be a model. Go and try. Why not? But that's the thing. Like, don't waste hundreds or thousands of dollars or euros or pounds or whatever whatever currency you use in your country uh to prepare yourself like book wise or portfolio or with classes uh to become a model you know do this go to models.com i hope i can use you guys <laughs> but i think i can so i hope sorry guys if i can't but yeah don't be mad at me don't don't sue me either that would be pretty bad anyways go to models.com <laughs> and look for agencies and look for agencies in your country city um, and that i think is a great way to find an agency because if you simply google agencies in australia bro you probably will find you likely possibly will find some bad people who are just want to who are just wanting to get your money so instead of doing that instead of wasting your money with random agencies or random agencies yeah you can go models.com or just go to models.com and look for agencies and then you see good agencies around the world hopefully one close to you uh that you can go and ask hey I'll, uh, you go in, into their website and you can see hey uh they should have either uh how do you call it i forgot the name uh call time nine forgot but well you can look for the ways of like them getting getting new models new faces or I forgot the name of it, <laughs> the castings, I forgot, I forgot the name. There is a specific name that they have for like the open call. Like they either have a day where people can go there and try to become models or they have like an email they should submit your pictures and stuff. Anyways, they at least have a phone number there that you can just call them and say, hey, I'd like to be a model. Um, uh, can I send you a picture or how can I try to become a model through your agency and then they will tell you okay send me a picture in this email or come here in this day and then you try if they say yes perfect your life might have just turned from wine to not water to wine if they say no please don't try to pay, take it personal if you think you they're wrong then try another agency because out of the 32 only not only like 10 chose me but like 22 did not so maybe you you ask the agencies that were within the my 22 you know what i mean like just try again if you think no no no, i think you're wrong and i think i can be a model just try another agency go again models.com and yeah i hope this this is helping models.com instead of 
um, bringing problems to you guys. Okay. Yeah, yeah, seriously, I'm not doing this with bad intentions. I just think you guys are a good resource. So I'm, I'm actually giving you guys a re good reputation. So please don't be mad at me if you were to be mad at me. So if you think you can do it, go go on and try. Try and try and try. And if nobody says you can, then and you still want to do it, maybe you can be an actor. And for that, there is no limitations of like height, anything like that. And you can make possibly a lot more money than as a model. There are many options. You can also become a commercial model, which does not have the limitation of height. It's mainly about beauty. There are different ways to do this. If you want to be a fashion model, you you do have to be tall, like for the most part, skinny. Of course, there are exceptions and stuff, but if you're not in that profile, you can either become a commercial model. Okay, so modeling is divided into commercial and fashion. Commercial does not mean does not mean TV commercials. It just means, let me see. So Macy's, JCPenney, yeah, Walmart. So it's not like Dior or Prada, that's fashion. That's where you walk runaways and stuff like that. I was blessed enough to be able to do both. So I, I worked for big names like Dior, uh, Hermes, and I also worked for uh, JCPenney, Kohl's, and like, so I was blessed enough to be like just right for both. Maybe we're not, maybe you are, maybe, yeah, you just gotta try. I would recommend you to try. So, sorry guys, got a little sidetracked, but I think I gave you guys some interesting information. So yeah, I signed with New York Models, went to New York for two weeks, met a lot of clients, met a lot of people, but then my agency told me, okay, Thiago, if you were to stay in the United States, how long would it take for you to finish your high school? I said three or four years. And if I was to go to Brazil, only half, half a year. In reality, I would really not be able to stay in the United States. If I was to stay there, I would be there illegally because my agency could not apply for my visa straight away. That was one of the criteria that I chose this specific agency out of the instead of the other ones because they could apply for my visa, but not at that time exactly. That made me have to go back to Brazil anyways, finish high school in half, half a year. And then I started to be a, a full-time model. I was not going to school anymore. I was just modeling. In the beginning of 2009, I started to model full-time. Uh, my first job as a model uh, was, I think, in August 2008. Uh, I was just chilling at home on Friday, Thursday, whatever. And then I got a phone call from my agent. I don't know if I can say his name yet, so I'm going to ask him first. I really have a great appreciation for him, but I, I just don't know if I'm allowed to use his name. So I don't know if I'm allowed to use half of the names I already used, but... Anyways, I'll ask him first. But yeah, he called me and he was like, bro, so what are you doing on the weekend? And I was like, um, nothing much. Uh, like, why are you calling me, bro? Like, it's been a long time. How are you doing? And he's like, yeah, I just want to like, like to know if you want to go to uh, Florida for like the, <laughs> the weekend. I was like, um, yeah, let's go, bro. Are you kidding me? Let's freaking do it. Of course. Like, are you serious? Yes. And yeah, so I went to Florida and it was Key West. And my first job was for Victoria's Secret. Yes, I know. People are like, oh, you were wearing bikinis. No, I was not wearing bikinis. I was actually the friend of the girls who were wearing bikinis. And yeah, so it was a pretty good job. I was just chilling at the beach with the girls and two other guys or one other guy. Like Victoria's Secret has two, at least at the time, had two uh, divisions. They had uh, angels and the uh, pink I, I don't know if it's exactly like that but like they had pink pink is for teenagers and that's who i worked with i didn't work with like giselle binge and uh bing shit, bing shit. Uh, no i know germans so i know how to speak her actual name i don't know i think i know at least so yeah but it was not with the the top models like i mean they might have been top models or it might even still be top models but it was not like with uh giselle that's what i meant it was with some other models my age, like 17, 18, or like in that age, right? And yeah, so I chilled at the beach with them, took some pictures, made some videos. I was like, bro, this is it. This is my life. I love this job. I want to do it for the rest of my life. <laughs> yeah, so that was my first job. And around December of that same year, my agent uh, called me again. He was like, so what's up for January? How are you doing? I was like, nothing much, bro. What's up with you? And he was like, so what do you think about pears? I was like, whoa, let's go, baby. Yeah. And that was the, the start of it all, man. Oh, it's 59. I got to go. Sorry. If you guys want to know anything else about the story, you got to come back. I'll just start by saying that January of 2009, I went to Paris for the first time for Fashion Week. And I also went to Milan and that month. And yeah, I think I can say I 
God was graceful enough to bless me with some really nice things over there. So if you guys want to know more, come again next time and I'll continue to tell my story. Yeah, I hope you guys, as I said in the beginning, first thing is that you guys, I don't know, that God would be able to talk to you guys somehow, you know? Yeah, that you guys have motivation for more. Like, I, I've always been a dreamer and I still am. And I'm trying to do a lot of things still. Like, minimum expectation is that I... I would hope you guys, you know, be would have some something more than entertainment, you know, like out of this video. So I don't want to just entertain you guys here. Sure, uh, I might be entertaining. One could say so. I don't know about that, but I just hope to to sow a little more than just entertainment in your soul. You know, like I hope you guys can be moved, not only to be emotionally moved and cry a little bit, or even if if that's the case for anybody there but i hope that somehow something that i said here or that i'll ever say will, will move you guys forward to towards like your goals your dreams your passions something man i don't want to just be a little funny guy or not that funny guy who makes videos on youtube instagram whatever i want to to change the world so yeah i hope you guys have a great life i wish you guys the best thank you for your time and yeah god bless you see you guys later don't forget to like and subscribe my channel i am starting to invest into my blog vlog youtube channel whatever let's do this guys we can do this together not only the blog channel whatever but life we can do life together i think we can we can make it we can make it count we can make a great life let's do it man ah i'm hungry baby let's go god bless you guys see you later oh.